Hey guys, it's Derek with the Survivalist. Um, right now I'm actually going to be hitting on traps. Uh, one of the traps I'm actually going to go over with is the figure 4 trap. Which, I will actually show you what that looks like. Right there. You can see there's three sticks. There's one that goes down, which these two are connected, which I will actually take apart. Um, there is a way to actually make it. There's certain notches in it that I carved. Where this one is actually supposed to sit like that on top. So that way this part actually holds some of the weight pushing on this stick so that way it'll actually push on there and right there is where actually you want to put the bait so that way when an animal comes in and, and takes it what it does is it moves it so it actually totally breaks everything apart thus creating a drop hatch that you know, you can actually stick it right on top. You want to put it at an angle so that way this is actually underneath the weight or the box or you know, whatever type of trap that you actually put on it. So that way, when the animal comes in, takes the bait, trips the trap, and you can actually catch your prey or your next meal, so to speak. Um, this is one of the more efficient ways of hunting. Um, yes, it does take a little bit of time to actually make, but in the long run, you're not sitting there using your time watching a trap that could take a few minutes, could take you all day. Where you set this trap up, you can actually set it up after you make it and literally walk away while you go out and either gather water, firewood, um, or any other type of supplies that you might need, especially while you're living or staying out in the wild. Um, other than that, this is one of the more efficient uh, traps you actually have, besides the carnivore weight snare or anything like that. Um, until then, I'll keep you guys subscribed or keep you guys posted. Please be sure to subscribe, and I'll see you out there.